In this video, let's take a look at debugging with React testing library. Similar to application code, sometimes the tests you write may not work the way you expect. Debugging is what will help us in such situations. Now, what does it mean to debug a test? Well, if we can get a glimpse of what the DOM looks like, we can figure out why our assertion is failing. One of the things that's great about React testing library is that whenever there is an error in a test, it provides a meaningful error message along with a formatted state of the DOM tree created by the render method. Let me help you understand what I mean by that. In skills.test.tsx, I'm going to modify the last test to fail. Change start learning to start learn. If we save the file, our tests rerun, we can see the test group name followed by the test name where the error occurred. We also have the error message unable to find role is equal to button and name start learn. We then have a formatted state of the DOM tree. We can easily inspect this DOM tree and see that a button with text start learn is in fact not present, which is why our test fails. Now, although React testing library has this capability, sometimes it is helpful if you can visualize the DOM tree before writing the assertion. To help with that, we can make use of the debug method on the screen object. I'm going to revert this back to learning and just before and after the find by role method, I'm going to add screen.debug. If I save the file, you can see the two DOM trees printed in the terminal. The first one right before find by where start learning button is not present. And the second one after find by, which has in fact waited for more than a second. And this DOM tree contains the start learning button. Being able to visualize the DOM at any given point in your test is really helpful to debug and understand why your test might be failing. We do have ESLint throwing an error and this is to ensure debug statements are not committed. Let's comment out the two lines as we have understood their purpose. Another helper function you can use to debug is the log roles function from DOM testing library. The log roles function can be used to print out a list of all the implicit ARIA roles within a tree of DOM nodes, each role containing a list of all the nodes which match that role. Let me help you understand with an example. At the top, import the function. Import log roles. And in our last test, store the result of calling render in a constant called view. In the next line, call log roles, passing in view.container. We should see a list of roles present in the DOM generated by our test. We have one UL element matching the list role and the element does not have a name. We have three LI elements matching the list item role and none of them have a name. And finally, we have one element matching the button role and it has the name login. This, as you might have guessed, can be helpful for finding ways to query the DOM under test with get by role method. So to summarize, you can use screen.debug to visualize a formatted state of the DOM tree at any point during the test. And you can use log roles function from testing library to print out a list of all the implicit ARIA roles within the DOM tree. Both of them are very useful for debugging tests. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.